Quiet. Quiet on the set. Dragon. <laughs> why, why are we doing this episode like this? Because <laughs> we can. Why not? Oh, 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 oh. We go. All your shows are belong to us. Hello, and welcome to Masterpiece Gaming, hosted by All Your Show All Belong to Us. I am King Mage the 16th. Ah, that is a horrible British accent. I know! No! Oh. <laughs> and I am Eyes Brilliantly Azure. And on this episode, we are reviewing... Omerta, City of Gangsters. Drought those scoundrels. Mm. I say, what should we use for our reviewing points? Right ho, contraband. I concur indubitably. I concur as well. Heimelmont and Calypso have taken the long-running Omerta MMO, which is a gangster paradise based in Prohibition-era Atlantic City. Oh, uh, I, my cup has been teabagged. Oh, oh, don't say that. That means something completely different to our audience. Oh, but who is our audience? Gamers. And turned it into a sprawling economic sim. With a turn-based combat twist. In case you don't know who the studios are, they made the Tropico series. So they absolutely know what they're doing. <laughs> yes. Hi. Yes, 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 yes. Right, right, right. So. yes. It's a unique melding of tried concepts. Which give off a nice breath of fresh air. <sighs> we give concept five contrabands. Ah, the gameplay of Omerta. Mm, yes. Mm. Oh, that's right. quite good. Mm. Very, very I'm just going to keep changing my accent around. Don't really right. care. Well, it's fine. It's very fine. good. It really is now. fine. And uh, the economic center of it is very good. It's well done. Uh, there's a lot of intelligence to it, a lot of ways to kind of build up, build around, mm -hmm. and get your city going. The primary issue comes in difficulty. Yes, yes. We're, it doesn't really ramp up. It's just it, it's not strategic based. It's, it's just, not organic. No, no. It's artificial sweetener in mm -hmm. your tea. That just won't it's, do. It's, it's, it's rubbish. It's rubbish. They either throw more enemies at you, restricted time limits, or both. Well, also, the level design in the combat areas, not well done. No, it's... It's, it's highly repetitious. Horrid. And why on earth can you only... You have a six-man gang, four members can go into battle, yet the enemy always has six plus. The uh, primary campaign uh, does a well-done use of exhibiting the tutorial throughout your gameplay. However, a big caveat comes in. When you get to the end of the game, then the whole game felt like one long tutorial. Mm. It never just tosses you in. I mean, you've got sandbox mode. Yes, but then it just kind of drops you in. If you haven't played this the single player, then you yeah. don't know what you're playing. And then if you're playing the single player and you get bored of that and go to the, the sandbox, you're just lost. Yeah, you're starting all over. You have no idea what to do, who half these people are. No. Uh, it's poor execution. Yes, yes. I believe gameplay gets Two pieces of contraband. Two, 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 two here. Two. Oh, yes, thank you, sir. Thank you. Quiet. Mm. Ah, Calypso, Jazz, Big Band. Ah, such wonderful music that never grays games. Couple this with great voice acting, and you have a brilliant start to a magnanimous audio track. By Joe. And then, scared of his success, it then decides to face palm. Right ho! The audio track throughout the entire game! It skips and jumps! Like listening to a scratched compact disc. I listen to vinyl. It becomes unbearable very quickly. Like a toad in a wheel. This <laughs> spills over into actual conversatory dialogue cutscenes. Seriously, you have not seen this before it shipped out. But at least it's patchable. I hope. The sound effects. Though nothing quite amazing really. Have quite a good variety. Uh, right ho, right ho. <laughs> and some of the things that come out of the characters' mouths are just the dog's bollocks. Baby's a bear cat. Word. So with a great start, but an immense amount of tripping at the end, we give audio to contraband. The aesthetics in this game are quite pleasing. Quite. They were able to lay out the 1920s Atlantic City all the way down to the landmarks. So that's cool, but... The graphics are so underwhelming. As in, are they even made for this gen? Underwhelming? Animations are solid, though hiccupy. And now that's the word. Hiccupy, 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 hiccupy. 
This guy is in desperate need of a brightness setting. Brightness setting? Let's don't be silly. Really, the game, it just looks like you're playing with a bunch of little miniatures. Like this toy set I had one time when I was little. It was, it was really fun. The visuals in this game are quite horse feathers. So we give it to Contraband. Bob's your uncle. You're a young Sicilian emigrating to America. And if we've learned anything... Never go in against a Sicilian when death is on the line! And the reasons why are up to you when you create your character. You soon learn to play the illegal booze trade in Prohibition America. The story is an incredibly straightforward affair. The cutscenes are presented in an interesting manner with almost comic book-like stills. The script itself is very well written. But there's one huge problem. You don't say. I do. Well, what is it? Non-cutscene deliveries, where they just speak one line and... Well, now that is just obnoxious. I say. Story gets two pieces of contraband. King Mage, what are you doing? Get over here. I can't. I'm out of MP. MP? By Jove, what's that? Movement points. Will you hurry up and finish your move so I can come sit on the chair? I don't have a response. This is one point about America that we can honestly say, Baby's a bear cat. Bing it. Bing it? What's that? Should I Google it? Between the various ways of playing single player story mode. And a nice roster of gangsters with unique skills. And the ever so wonderful sandbox mode. There's enough to keep you sowing disruption in Atlantic City for a very long time. True that. So we give replay value three contraband. No, we don't. We give it four contraband. We give it three. We give it four. Those are fighting words, sir. Go home, Rod Riggles. You're blattered. Uh, multiplayer truly is a dichotomy. On, on one hand, you have, you have limited game modes that focus on the weaker parts of it and, and mostly just fight. Yeah, just, just a battle. Just battle, it's well bad. It's well bad. Simply two competitive battles and two cooperative battles. That's not cricket. On, on the other hand, I mean, grinding and leveling up your, your gang and your team. Your rowdy band of is, is, is very addicting. Oh, truly, and with a good friend in tow, it becomes just a, a righteous experience. Uh, I'd even say it's filled with laughter and mayhem. <laughs> <laughs> Dynamite. Uh. So. Multiplayer, it can be a rather wondrous experience. But, but why? Why do you only have four maps, four missions? And why on earth would you miss out on the beautiful opportunity of having a competitive or cooperative sandbox mode? Shut up and take my fun. I just, I, I don't understand. As with most of this game, beautiful idea, falling flat on its face, multiplayer, four pieces of contraband. So, let's sum up. Concept, five out of five. Audio, two out of five. Visuals, two out of five. Gameplay, two out of five. Story, two out of five. Replay value, four out of five. Multiplayer, four out of 10. So, with a total score of 17 out of 30, we say, that's average. Yes, right so. Tell us what you think. Leave a comment down below. While you're down there, be sure to thumb up that thumb up button, as well as subscribe. Subscriptions are free. If you'd like to see the next game we will be reviewing, please click here now. Righto. Be sure to stop by all your base and say hi to Taborius. And with that, I am King Mage the 16th. And I am Eyes Brilliantly Azure. And you can't stop the sixes and sevens. And feel free to V. Oh, gosh dang it, why can't I say let's? Because right. it sounds awful. <laughs> That's why it's so let's awesome. Let's don't be silly. Let's let, don't be let, silly. Let's, 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 let Pictorial cutscenes. Seriously? You didn't notice that before it sh shipped? <laughs> <laughs> Do it again! Christ. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Okay, that's alright. Quiet! 
Mm. It's shite. I think Devin's gonna need a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of you. I've, I've never heard him cuss before. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Let me get on tape. That looks like the first time I ever heard my grandma cuss. <laughs> It was so free, Donna. Free, free. It's just the word. Whoops. <laughs>